youtube video it is your girl linway and there's absolutely no way without going through the way i am back with another video and this is another episode of holly perspective so yes we all know that jesus is the way the truth and the life obviously and yeah there is no way without going through the way of blah 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 lies there is the only way which is jesus's way that's why we have holy perspective but anyway today i am you know these days i'm literally on a vulnerability streak i don't understand why i'm being so vulnerable with you guys but yeah here i am making another vulnerable video um well one can call it a vulnerable video i just think it's just a video that everybody just needs to see so yeah make sure you like comment share and subscribe and you can tell by today's title we're gonna be talking about struggles because whoa the struggle is real the struggle is intense i'm gonna talk about the struggles and then i'm gonna give you a couple of tips to deal with those struggles so number one okay wait the title of the video is the struggles of a university student this was a topic suggestion that was sent through one of my polls on instagram so do follow me on my instagram i do try to engage with you guys a lot and i and i upload every single monday um journeying with god devotionals yeah so yeah subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram anyway yeah back at it oh this is hard actually i think i'm gonna need chocolate for this um whew. so where do i begin what are the struggles of a, of being a Christian university student? Hmm. Where do I start? Where do I start? Well, well, well. Okay. It's hard. <laughs> it's for the brave. It's not for the weak. This one is for the brave. It's not for the weak. It's not easy. It's not. I'm not even going to cap for you. It's not easy. But I recommend you take the journey. <laughs> okay. So a couple of struggles that I personally go through or things that I see my other Christian friends going through. It's number one, being a misfit. So like generally... As a young christian right whether you are a teenager a young adult or whatsoever doesn't matter the age you are always going to stand out because the bible says you were ish, what's that word i want to set apart yeah you were set apart i'm gonna put the scripture i, I forget i forget the scripture but i put the scripture here you were set apart for a purpose you were set apart to be different so you are always going to be a misfit and the biggest struggles is that growing up we all try to fit in to a certain spectrum i know a lot of people tell you that like none of us were born to fit in we're born to stand out but the human desire is to adapt to its environment so your nature forces you to want to adapt so i think the biggest struggle that most young christians face is being a misfit right I don't know if I should give you guys all the struggles first of all, just struggle and a tip, struggle and a trip. I think I'm going to do struggle and a tip. So how I deal with that or what I suggest you do to deal with that, obviously the first things first is to find a community of believers. That is very important. A community of believers is so important because it's people that, that, that are sharing in with the struggle with you, basically. And they know what you are going through. People that have walked through the walk before you did. So that's like finding a mentor, finding someone older than you that can, you know, guide you and help you. And someone that you are free to say whatever and not be restricted. So if you're going to speak to a leader in church or whatever place that you decide to find a mentor, right? This is someone that you should have a freelance relationship. By a freelance relationship, I mean a relationship where you are open to say whatever and not have a fear of being judged by that person. 
and this is very important to establish because some relationships you tend to filter certain emotions that you have so as a young christian it's it's important for you to find that person that you can be vulnerable with the same way you are close to vulnerability i mean the same way you are vulnerable with god to be quite honest and then like you shouldn't like obviously you shouldn't overshare but at the same time you need to share enough so that the person can advise you enough right this is just like my first advice find a community find a church find a church finding a church is so important because it keeps you grounded and it, it keeps you whole it keeps you like in sync with your spirituality because it's important to fellowship like fellowship is one of the most important things that we have in this walk of life because since we can't fit into a society we have to be each other's environments really and we need to you know suit each other's needs so that's also the other thing and then like more into deeper detail um it's also important if like depending on how the holy spirit encounters you if you want to serve a church do serve it's very nice it's very interesting but serve where you have the love for serve where god has placed in your heart to do so don't do it for your friend don't do it for like someone else in your family or whatsoever do it because god has put it in your spirit to do so okay that is done with that struggle and then struggle number two is Okay, I've already dealt with fitting in. The, the second struggle now is more on the side of... Uh, I, don't, I don't know. It's, it's prejudice, stereotypes. So as a young Christian, you are going to face a lot of attacks. You are going to face a lot of persecution. Like people are going to ask you certain questions that you will not be able to answer. And I think that we need to be comfortable with understanding that sometimes... You just don't have the answer. Don't answer. Don't lie. Like, tell the person, I don't know, but I can read my Bible and find out. I can ask whosoever and find out. Do not give false witness. Do not. Like, never try that. Um, I tried that once and it backfired. And that's why I'm telling you, don't do it. It's not a good idea, girl. Don't do it. Right? But it's important for you to then know your Bible. Knowing your Bible changes a lot. It changes a lot in the way that you interact with people, in the way people interact with you, and how you generally behave in your environment. Because you know your scriptures, you are able to withstand temptation. Because when the devil comes to attack you, he will not come with lies. He will just come with the truth that is twisted. And that is literally what he does he comes with scriptures he'll tell you what's it in the bible god said one two three he knows the bible better than you if you are not reading your bible so yeah just like do not give false witness i think that is like the biggest struggle because people assume um like people presume or make assumptions that you are this perfect human being when you are a christian and that's just not the truth we are the most imperfect people that are justified because of christ that's literally the only statement i'm gonna say and i'm gonna end it there and that's on period right so moving on to the second third struggle right now the third struggle is as a young person there will be things that you will not be able to do that's just the truth the third struggle is not being invited and my friend Anisha said one of those like in one of her TikToks and it was really profound because like you we need to be okay with not being invited into certain areas. We need to be fine with people not inviting you because when people are seeing the growth in your life, they will not bring certain things to you. If your friends used to invite you to parties, to clubs, to drinking, to all of those things where you know for a fact that the Holy Spirit is not saying go there or it makes your spirit uncomfortable because things that make me uncomfortable are not the same things that make you uncomfortable. Some of you can go to clubs, can go to parties, can go to all these places and still be okay. But me personally, if I'm in those environments, I don't feel spiritually okay. I don't feel fine. I'm not comfortable. I just don't feel, I don't see the need. I don't see the mix. Like, in my mind, it doesn't clangana to be a believer and be a club goer. Like, it doesn't clangana. Like, that's just, that's just how I'm going to put it. And that's my opinion, by the way. That's not a biblical opinion. That's my opinion based on my own deductions of what I read in the Bible. 
literally that's all that i'm gonna say that i'm not saying that you should not do it i'm just saying that it makes me uncomfortable so i wouldn't do that right but that's the same like so the way i got to that conclusion was through reading and understanding the word of god and what it wants for me to do it was through reading that I made a conclusion that drinking alcohol is not going to make me feel whole. It's not going to, it's me deviating away from holiness and not moving towards it. So like just having those things, like having the Bible being your manual and not Twitter and Instagram uh, codes leading you, right, is very important. So that's just the other thing that you are going to need to have a support system. You, like that's why a community is important i'm not like i'm gonna emphasize this so much you need to have more christian friends you need to have more believers surrounding you like I, I'm, I'm not saying don't be friends with other people sure be friends with them but obviously your friendships need to be beneficial and they and and they need to be growing you spiritually and if someone is you know pulling you back you just have to cut them out right other struggle that we have struggle number four i think right now i was struggle number four or five um struggle number four i'm just gonna say that so this struggle is um that you see dating relationships and loneliness bah, in one title that's just literally it's like obviously i'm gonna have more videos of all of this it's very difficult being a christian because not being a christian man i mean what's this thing being a young Christian in university because people at this point are, you know, having reckless sex. They are, you know, experimenting. They're doing all these explicit things that you know that if you were to participate, they would draw you further apart or push you way back in your journey with your God. I think that's like literally like the whole concept is to understand that your journey is unique. And understand that the way that you are going to travel is not going to be the same way that someone else is travel. I might go faster. I might go slower. I might be confused. I might say things that I, I know I should not be saying. I might do things that I know I should not be doing and stuff like that. But that is because our journeys are different. Our journeys are unique and they are special to us, right? So it is very important that you need to understand that that your journey is going to be different there are going to be people that are going to fall in love early people are going to take time to fall in love people that are going to be in multiple relationships and still not find love like you just need to understand all of those things and how they work and just how to do it biblically i don't i don't think this is going to be summed up in a very quick short video but i will i will want to have like i will have in another episode i'll have a panel discussion i think panel discussions in terms of talking about relationship in christianity are better but i would recommend that you read relationship goals by mike todd you read single engaged married uh yeah single engaged married by ben stewart um which other book there are so many books so i will i will link them in in, in the description I, you know i will put you guys up because we need to grow in our knowledge and, and, and understanding of what God wants us to do. So that was number four, right? If not number five whatsoever. But yeah, the last struggle that I face personally is fashion. I don't know why this is a struggle, but fashion is a problem because it defies, well, there's a lot to talk about there as well. So that's also another episode of on, on its own. But the concept of fashion and what I think of it and how I view it is the whole idea that sometimes we tend to hmm, dress in ways that are very world-like. That's all I'm going to say. And then I'm going to see you guys in the next episode of How You Perspective. <laughs> because this is all I'm going to say. And then we're going to discuss that in deeper details. And this is me talking about modesty while wearing a crop top. This is exciting. But yeah, we're going to discuss and like, I, I, don't, I don't want this to be my own viewpoint. I want it to have other people's viewpoint. Please comment down in the comment section. What are your struggles as a young Christian YouTuber, as a young Christian, as a teenager Christian? You know, like all of the struggles that you share with. You know what? We're sharing your pain. We're sharing your pain. We are in the same boat. That's just all I'm going to say. And I'm going to see you guys in my next YouTube video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on my social media platforms. 
as you can see right there on Instagram ah, at Lynn underscore way and underscore I think yeah <laughs> And then you just follow me, I upload you, like I now, I'm trying to do this reels thing when I upload reels every single day, approximately, where I just like advise and give you guys some good tips that I have. And yeah, see you guys in my next YouTube video. Peace, I'm out.